Good morning and welcome to our virtual assembly on Monday the 10th of May 2021. As you can see in the picture there, we have a really lovely school environment and what the staff have been noticing since we've returned to school two weeks ago is that the volume of litter being dropped in the school is verging on unacceptable. So we all need to play our part. You can see in the picture there, there's a bin at the end of that corridor. There are bins all around the school and it's just common courtesy to bin your own rubbish once you have eaten your break or your lunch. And there's obviously there's lots of litter collecting outside as well. So do the right thing. Um, you know, you are the generation that are championing the value of our planet and the eco message and we all need to play our part in making sure we dispose of our own litter in responsible ways to keep our school looking as good as it can look. So can I remind S1, 2 and 3 pupils that breaks and lunch times are outside unless you are otherwise informed and you'll be informed by an email to your teachers who will let you know if you are inside and you'll be inside if the weather is too cold or too windy or rainy for you to be outside. Um, slight change for S4, 5 and 6 which I'll explain in the next slide. We take pupil voice very seriously at Ellen Academy and last week some senior pupils came to talk to some of the senior leadership team about the fact that they were outside when the weather was good enough for that to happen. They raised a really good point and they told us that it would be preferable for S4, 5 and 6 pupils particularly on the days that they have an assessment after break or an assessment after lunch in the afternoon that they were had the a chance to choose whether they went outside for fresh air and a break from their face coverings or they stayed inside to help prepare themselves to stay warm and potentially, um, and I have seen some young, young people, very faithfully revising at these times when there have been indoor lunches and breaks. So from today, from Monday the 10th of May, um, all senior pupils have the option of staying inside at break or lunch but S1, 2 and 3 will remain outside and that will help us in terms of the spread of infection if our younger pupils are outside. Something that we've been made aware of um, that some young pupils have uh, seen a video on TikTok showing you can actually cut a plastic chair with the strings on the side of face coverings. I'm aware through my colleagues in other secondary schools that this has been a problem in one or two schools. I would hate to think that this would happen at Ellen Academy. So really um, for the staff who are tuning into the assembly, it's something that we need to be vigilant about. And it's the same as the litter. It's one of our school values to be respectful of each other, but also of our school environment. So I don't want to hear any concerns about pupils following this lead that has been popular on TikTok most recently. So it's something that we don't want young people to be doing because these chairs, the plastic chairs themselves cost about £35 each and the school just doesn't have the budget to keep replacing chairs that there's no need for them to be damaged in the first place. So just a reminder, to, especially to our junior pupils in S1, 2 and 3. The assessment block is ongoing. We're just about to start week three. This is hugely important for our senior learners and we need the younger pupils to play their part in keeping quiet in the corridors as they're moving around and really stop lapping round about class when you're going between classes and at, at times where there will be assessments on. A number of young people have been going out to the toilet more often than we feel they need to be and lapping around the building maybe once or twice before returning to classes. Now this is not acceptable for your learning or for your progress in classes if you're doing this and it doesn't help keeping the corridors as quiet as they possibly can be when there are young people sitting very important assessments. So we're asking young people from today 
if you're going to the toilet, you can leave your mobile phone in the classroom while you're on the toilet trip and that can be placed face down on the teacher's desk and the teacher will not touch your phone but keep an eye on it until you return from the toilet. If this is a problem for you, you shouldn't need your phone to go to the toilet. So if this is a problem for you, it becomes a discipline issue if you can't do that. So we're going to trial this and hopefully it will cut down on pupils wandering around the school when they should be in classes. Also, we're asking you to it's a rule that we had before that there shouldn't be anyone with hoods up or hats on inside the building. And it's just to help identify who is, is wandering around as well. But it's harder to identify when young people are wearing face coverings. So I appreciate some of the messages in the assembly this week are messages that we would we have to, to be reiterating. Um, I like to be very positive in my assemblies, but there's some things that we need to be saying to remind young people about how we conduct ourselves and keep the smooth running of the school the priority in respecting each other and what each other are going through. And again, I refer to our senior learners who are in the middle of these very, very important assessments. So younger pupils, you'll be at, at a stage where your schoolwork becomes really, really important to you if it isn't already, and that you will need all this respect from your, your peers and, and younger pupils when your turn comes for these sorts of tests and assessments and in the future, hopefully, proper exams or whatever the new assessment models will look like for your future. So bear with us and try your best to follow these rules for the benefit of everyone in school. Thank you.